What's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going up to the International Space Station. Once again, Mary Hall has shared multiple videos with me of highly unusual objects visible from the International Space Station above planet Earth. And she also noticed the, the space station itself doing something unusual. You can find Mary's YouTube channel linked down below in the description box. Make sure you come over and subscribe to her YouTube channel and check out some of her cool videos of of some of the various things that she's seen above planet Earth from the International Space Station. Also in this video, I'm still working on multiple videos that you guys have shared with me of, of unusual objects in the, the night and daytime skies. This particular video right here is 31 minutes long. It has over 80 videos, and I'm still adding videos to this video to share with you guys. And here's some more of the videos that I've received here recently of unusual objects in the in the skies above Earth. Once again, in the day and nighttime skies. Gene, Eric, Don. Sean, Sean from Las Vegas, the Dosha from North Carolina, Jane, Jamie, Greg, a lot of new videos to share with you guys. So I'm still working on that. I haven't decided yet how I'm going to do this very long video. I may do it in one long live stream. I might do it in segments. We'll see. But right now, the way it stands, this video has just over 80 different videos in it, and I'm working on many, many more. So by the time I get done, that video will have over a hundred videos. I have a couple of unique things I want to share with you guys. I just received this video today by William out of Adele, Iowa. Check out the sky here. Obviously, these look like storm clouds, but this right here, this void that looks like a nearly perfect circle in the daytime sky above Iowa. It just looked out of place. That's what compelled William to take this video, shared it with me. I'm sharing it with you guys. Looks too round. Look at that. Looks like a nearly perfect circle absent the left-hand side, but if there were a left-hand side, probably would be round. Here's another close-up view of that unusual sky above Adele, Iowa. Also have something here you may not have ever seen. Photo sent in by Levi's S out of Taft, California. Check this out, a nighttime double-decker rainbow. How does that happen? Above Taft, California, there's one photo, here's another photo. See it right there? There's no doubt that's a double-decker rainbow. That's what compelled him to take the photo of the sky above Taft, California. Very cool. I've never seen anything quite like that, a, a nighttime double-decker rainbow. But we've seen one now. Coming over here to the homepage of the website, today's feature photo was sent in by Andy, what looks like a big umbrella above that mountain over there off in the distance. Checking in on the Schumann residence, a little bit of activity in the last 72 hours, but, but no major spikes. Looking at the earth-facing side of the sun. That's one of the largest sunspots we've seen in many years. And as you can clearly see, the earth-facing side of the sun is loaded with sunspots and active regions. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that, that monitor the mighty supervolcano, the, the northwestern quadrant has been very busy here in the last 24 hours with what look like earthquake activity signatures. Those red vertical lines represent small earthquakes at the supervolcano Caldera, seeing a, a little bit of magma intrusion too, but a lot of earthquake activity, or at least a lot of small earthquake activity up here in the northwestern quadrant of the supervolcano Caldera. Quick look at Lake Mead and Lake Powell. Lake Mead still going up all green for the last several days, which indicates a rise in the overall water content at Lake Mead, which is good news. Coming over here to Lake Powell, they both sit on the Colorado River. Lake Powell, on the other hand, is going down negative change at Lake Powell, which means the water content is shrinking at Lake Powell and it's increasing at Lake Mead. I want to take you guys now up to the International Space Station once again. All of these observations were made by Mary Hall. Make sure you check out her YouTube channel, link down below, and subscribe to her YouTube channel. And here we go, up to the International Space Station, 250 miles above planet Earth. Once again, observations by Mary Hall, who does not 
didn't miss a trick when it comes to this International Space Station. Starting off above the Great Lakes, that's where the, the space station was at when Mary noticed this unusual object that just looked out of place and it was moving across the field of view right here from the upper right hand corner down into the lower left. That's not a city, that's not an airplane, that is something fairly close to the International Space Station. And now we're going across the Atlantic over to Spain when the International Space Station was crossing Spain. This enters the field of view. Look at that. High speed object that just came out of nowhere, entered the field of view, and very quickly exited the field of view. Okay, going from Spain to the North Pacific Ocean. And this is where pilots have been noticing quite a bit of unusual activity out here above the North Pacific Ocean with regard to unknown white objects. In this particular section right here, you're going to see this object moving across the screen fairly slow. You're going to see a high-speed object here clear the field of view in less than a second. You're going to see one down here clear the field of view also in less than a second. Here we go. There goes the first one, here comes the second one, and there goes the third one. This one here comes up here and almost stops. And again, this is 250 miles above the Earth, visible from the International Space Station. So that one there slows down pretty much to a complete standstill. This one here enters the field of view from the, the top part of the screen and goes down to the lower left out of the field of view. Here comes another one from the right cruises across the screen. That's not anything on the ground or, or in the ocean. That is something in the sky above the earth. You see it just take off right there? Check that out, watch. Let's look at that one again, watch. Cruising across the field of view and then it's going to accelerate. Watch, here it goes. Look at that, just took off. So that tells you it has some sort of a propulsion system. Now going back to the, the southwestern United States, something above New Mexico. Watch right there. See it enter the field of view? And a friend of hers on the same night at around the same time sent her a text message saying that she was seeing unusual lights in the skies at around the same time that, that Mary noticed this from the International Space Station could have been the same lights. Tuesday, November 22nd, out above the Indian Ocean at 7.32 p.m. Here we go. Another unknown object right there. High-speed object that enters the field of view from the bottom. Literally comes out of nowhere. Here I slow it down a little bit. Try to zoom in and it just quickly exits the field of view. Here's what looks like a leak from the International Space Station with unknown objects in the background moving across the field of view. This is super weird. Here's the leak, something coming out of the, the bottom of the space station. I don't know, this could be standard protocol. Maybe they're releasing water or something from the space station, but I don't think I've ever seen this before. Watch, you can see something coming out from the bottom of the space station. And then in the background, you're going to see right there, see that white orb going in the opposite direction? Almost like it too has a propulsion system of its own. This looks like it's coming from the space station, whatever this stuff is right here. And then you're going to see two objects, one over here that enters the field of view, and then another one that kind of was closer to the International Space Station. That one right there, there's the first one, and you're going to see yet another one right there. A couple of mysterious objects, as it looked like the space station may have been leaking something. Again, that could have been something very standard, something that's routine, that happens all the time. It's just not something you see on here all the time, and Mary watches this uh, space station live cam like a hawk and there was another object right there that took off and went that direction see it and then got objects coming in from the opposite direction so a lot of activity in this video right here and it looked like the ISS was leaking something at the time Mary saw this on December 14th of 2022 great job Mary keep the videos coming really appreciate that and don't forget to check out Mary's YouTube channel down below in the description box and subscribe to her YouTube channel Keep the photos and videos coming. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you guys have any videos you'd like to share that won't attach to the email for whatever reason, come over here to the homepage of the website. Look for this red tab that says, Have a Large Video. Simply click on the red banner, drag and drop your video into the red tab. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.